Previously on the Just Me Challenge. What is going on guys, we're back with some more Sims 2 Just Me Challenge Season 2. So today's cutscene, I'm not going to explain too much because you guys already seen what's happened. Uh, just pretty much recapping Whitney and Shiva, they understood each other more. Whitney does not hate Shiva anymore, so we could say that Whitney is no longer the main antagonist of this season. But um, once again, I'm introducing a new character uh, that will be a new antagonist. So I guess Whitney was a minor, she played a minor role. Um, we just had to get to know her more, and Shiva had she just did the right thing most of the time. So Whitney is finally just understanding, and she's moving on with her life because pretty much what she was, uh, what her problem was, is that she was stuck in her past, 
and that's all she kept thinking about no matter what so you know Shiva just told her hey you need to stop thinking about your past think about your present and think about your future because you can't move on if you get if you stay stuck in the past so that's what Whitney is going to be following and she she's not going to be like a major character uh, I couldn't guarantee you guys if she's going to come back after Shiva graduates from college but we might get to see Whitney somewhere in the future but she just needs to she just needs to build her own character and esteem yeah okay yep that, that makes a lot of sense but yeah I wouldn't say she was a major character maybe in the in future episodes she's still in the season but we we'll just have to wait so we have 30 hours 29 29 hours until final exams and that's when she was gonna graduate but after she's done with her final exams and completes her uh, senior year she's allowed to stay here for a little bit longer so I don't know if we want to stay here longer I kind of just want her to graduate and move out as soon as we can so we'll have to wait and see because Ethan he just moved in not too long ago and I kind of want to oh well oh well too bad for Ethan okay you guys don't need to clean just leave it leave it leave it and she is doing well with her grade so far all she has to do is go to class again or do another college assignment um, I'm gonna have her maybe tutor someone for simoleon so let's do that Ethan he's not doing too well and I'm doing that on purpose because he's not supposed to be passing he's the character who just doesn't really care about his grades too much and you know we haven't seen one of our sims get kicked out before so I wanna see if that can happen if we don't maintain the grades I think it's possible if you have a low low grades then uh, you'll get kicked out right because I never got that I never had that happen to me before I always played it safe I always just did everything right and sometimes when you do things right too much it kind of gets too it kind of gets boring so we'll see what happens to Ethan if he doesn't stick with his grades well surprisingly his first semester he got 4.0 GPA so that was pretty good surprisingly so we'll just have to wait and see what happens when he doesn't meet meet that goal by the end of this semester all right let's go ahead and clean our fish tank uh, maybe feed them twice a little just gonna make sure they're probably gonna die right when I before I feed them watch it's probably gonna happen based off of my luck they're probably gonna die right before I try to feed them that would suck though that would really suck all right we fed our fish nice um, if I'm not sounding too enthusiastic, I just kind of like my mind still in like places. I, w I spent like the whole morning, not really whole morning, but I was editing and then I was finish finishing off a show and it made me all depressed. I was like, no, this can't end. So yeah, my mind's in weird places, but I'm, I'm going to try my best to stay here, talk to you guys. And Kenneth and Winnie are about to f just hit it off again. I kind of don't want to see that. I don't want to see that happening. Wait, we can't tutor any anybody? Let's see. How about we tutor Sunny? I think that's her right there. Yeah, Sunny. Hey, Sunny, you wanna want some help with your grades? I charge a small fee for that. Come here, you skank. I'm not done with you. Oh my god, don't eat. You suck. I, give me your money. Give me your money. It's a win-win situation. You get better grades, I get money. So, come on. Sunny! You better cooperate with me right now. Right this instant. Why can't we tutor her? She's going to class. Oh my god. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? How about Aurora? Oh, that's her. It's her here, right there. Okay, okay, okay. I don't, I don't like Kenneth and Whitney fighting a whole lot, so... I might do something about it. Oh my god, they're fighting again. Whitney kick his butt, okay? Okay. Alright, Aurora, would you like tutor for simoleons? I can help you a lot. Good, you picked the right decision. You picked the right decision. It's a perfect day, it's a normal day. Um, nothing major is happening. Definitely not over here. But we're helping a friend out with her grades. She's not even a friend. We just barely know her. She kicked his butt. Exactly what I expected. Nice. 
How's Ethan doing? What's he doing right now? They're fighting again. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to watch that. I'm just going to run into this room here. Alright, why don't you play uh, some pinball machines? Play these pinball machines. There's like a shark. Oh my god. Freaking jaws up in here. Oh my god, the teeth light up. Whoa. That's cool. Interesting. And this sounds like some alien spaceship design. Okay. Alright, off to class you go. Um, I think we helped Aurora pretty well. She's still doing her homework without us telling her to, so that means we've been a positive influence on someone's life. I'm glad I've done my job well. I I'm, I'm proud to just do that. Can you guys, like, stop? You fought, like, just three times now. This is the third time. I kind of just want to cheat and just have them, like, be best friends and stuff. Like... They need to settle their differences. Alright, so I had enough of their fights, so I went into the neighborhood screen and activated the bullprop testing cheats enable true cheats so that way I can go in and make them selectable and change their friendships so that way they don't fight anymore. They need to be best friends. They need to settle their differences, as I mentioned earlier. Um, It'd be amazing, you know? They fight too often, it's not entertaining anymore, it's the same old, same old, and... Yeah, they just they just need to get over themselves. They need to make up, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Voice crack. <clears throat> okay. So, Whitney, go, uh... Apologize. I don't... I think you're the one that caused something to happen. I mean, you're evil back then. So, go apologize, you guys are gonna make up, be best friends. Yeah, we get to see it happen. Okay, maybe not. Kenneth is gonna be that guy who's gonna just, just like up oh, deuces. There you go. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at it. Oh, they're best friends now. They're best friends. They're no longer enemies. What if they started fighting again? I would laugh like crazy. Cool. Great. You guys no longer fighting. Alright, let's have you go get something to eat over here, and then, um, what time does she get back? I think 5pm. Yeah, 5pm. Wow, I can't believe I remembered that. And professors are here again, why? I don't want to befriend them. I don't want to befriend them. Yeah, you can just, you can just stay out there. Stay out there, man. You creep. Now in real life, when people visit you and stuff, don't think of them as a creep unless there's signs. There's obvious signs that they're a creep. Okay, okay, just don't judge anybody. This is just a game after all, so we are allowed to judge. But don't do it in real life. Unless you know the person. <laughs> unless you know them, you can judge them. Uh, okay. Let's see. How's everybody doing? They're fine. I think we need... Ethan still needs to make some more friends. He needs to connect. So, who is his next? Wait, that Revi, that Le whatever his name, what is his name? Ravi, Ravioli. We can call him Ravioli. I think he's at class right now. Yeah, cause his face is not over here. Cause if he, okay, I think he's here now. He's here. He's right there. One thing um to know, I guess I find it quite unique, is that their faces. If they're over here in the first section and you're best friends with them, that means they're on the lot. But if you're friends with somebody and uh, their their picture and the relationships is somewhere else, that means they're not on the lot. So that's something to know if you play The Sims 2. And I think I, f I found it quite unique. So just keep that in mind if you're playing this game. Um, why your friendship is, out, is so whack. I think that's the reason why it's because they're not on the lot. And this girl needs to take a bath. Let's see, what's she doing right now? Good, you're taking a shower. I'm trying to be the peacekeeper here and making sure everybody is doing the right thing, especially when it comes to hygiene. I think that's quite important, so we'll have to cheat and fix things up if we have to. Like, we're the peacemaker, okay? And we have to go take a shower next to her. Ew, gross. Okay, Ethan's turn to go to class. 21 hours. 21 hours. And um, another thing worth noting is that this is not the semi-finale semi episode. Um, not the semi-finale, mid-season finale. Wow, I can't 
I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I extended it to episode 13, and so the total amount of episodes for this season will be 26. So it's been extended six episodes. Um, I found it just too short, so we can go with decent 26. I can go that far. And I think that's pretty much it. I just extended the series. That means I have to be more creative and think of more storylines because sometimes I just run out. But hey, I have more things coming soon, so nothing more to worry about. Nothing to worry. Okay, I think we should call Derek. We should probably go out again. Maybe. Maybe we'll just invite him over just for fun. Let's do that. It's been a while, I think, since they... I think it's been a while. I think it's been a while. Derek Bendit. Invite over. It's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. That's nice. Skank didn't turn off the TV. Learn how to turn off the TV. Was it Whitney? I don't know. I think it was like this chick or something. I don't know. I don't know. Do we have... Okay. We paid the bills not too long ago. I think he's here. No, never mind. We'll just wait for his face swap. Okay, he's here. She's leaving. We didn't even invite her over. She just came voluntarily as tribute. Alright. Hi. Hi, Derek. They're, she's gonna make out with him like a, like an animal watch. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't realize now, um, I gave Shiva a new look. Again. She looks actually like... She looks beautiful. But she's always been looking beautiful, so... Yeah, she just looks a lot better. I mean, you could. there's always room for improvement on looks, right? I'm just kidding. Yeah, sometimes. Hey, Shiva, is Ethan available? No. I have a feeling sh that creepy lady is trying to do some scandalous stuff with Ethan. Probably. I have that feeling. And it's funny how like they're engaged in the college. But I think that's what happens in real life too. You can be engaged while still in college. That's what college sweet's hearts are for, right? Okay, feed fish, feed fish. And then we'll talk to Derek a little bit. He used to live here, so... Yeah, make him feel more welcome. I don't know. Let's do a school cheer, uh, entertain them with a busted move, and then them two can like make out and stuff and be all romantic. Like what couples should be doing is showing love for one another. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Gerbit, gerbit. What are you guys, frogs? Gerbit, gerbit. She's like, oh yeah, check out my dance moves. He's like, oh. Mm. Ah, this is romantic. Look at him. He's like, this is, his <laughs> this is awkward. Just leaning your head back, and then you see this guy sitting here. Oh my god. I think he's a little bit over dramatic, but that's okay. Ooh, stay the night. Stay the night. Stay the night, Derek. Stay here. Wow, they're, they're like ball, ballroom dancing now. Let's see. Smooch. Dang, your, your, your laugh is a little obnoxious there, buddy, but that's okay. Ooh, cuddle under the stars. Let's not smooch then. Okay, no dance kiss. Yep, he's staying over now, so he won't leave us. Uh, and now they're gonna go cuddle under the stars? Yeah. See you later, uh, llama thing, rabbit. You look kind of freaky. Just saying. Okay, we are here cuddling under the stars. They're having a really great time, and their location of where they're cuddling is quite private. Um, as you can see, we're behind the building because you know rooms, you know the dorms aren't private enough. So we have to go behind the actual building where no one will suspect where we are and cuddle there. Okay, so she was gonna go to bed. I don't know where Derek's gonna sleep at. I'm pretty sure he should be tired soon, but whatever. We'll just leave him there. Okay, we're gonna update her picture here. This is what she looked like before she, uh, when she first came to university. This is what she looked like. And yeah, now look at her thumbnail. A lot different. Just kidding. She just took her glasses off with a new hairstyle. That's all. Shopping center. Ooh, let's go to the shopping center. 
that lot doesn't look too bad either so I think we should go on a shopping spree here we are at the uh, market it's not too bad I like it I like it it's not bad I like it um, wow they even put like lots for they put like car places for the cars but we all know cars won't be parked here they'll be parked like right over here I just have that feeling you'll be there so do we have a cell phone for Shiva? I doubt we have a cell phone for her. She used to have one, but then I think she lost it. So let's go buy another one. Let's go buy a cell phone. El telefono. But I don't think that's the same thing. Telefono is like, yeah, landline. Crap. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that still use landline telephones. But I haven't used one in a while because my whole family has cell phones. So, yeah. Okay, let's get the cell phone. And just insert our simoleon and it'll pop out there. It's like yeah, it's a vending machine. Self explanatory. Let's have Ethan buy one himself. Oh. Hi Allison, how are you doing? Let's let's communicate. I like your dress. Good thing you're taking compliments. Let's entertain her with a joke. Maybe chat up a little bit. Yeah, I, I see a friendship, friendship, uh, blossoming. If she's checking him out, she's like, mmm, check him out. Good thing we're getting a cell phone, because we can call the- Never mind. He's no longer a minor. Stop checking him out, Nicole Thompson. We see you, we're not blind. Let's get a cup of coffee, too. Uh, let's buy one for Shiva. He can return the favor to her now. Because last time she bought him coffee, now he can buy her coffee. Okay, bye. Bye, Allison. See you later. Oh, now she's checking him out. She's like, ooh. Ooh, up. There's a second floor. I forgot. Well, it's nothing much. It's just more clothes. Um, places to sit. Try out your... Try out them clothes. Is it? Are these bookshelves? Oh, they are! You can study! Cool. Uh, thank you for the coffee, Ethan. He's gonna get one himself. Nice. Ooh, we can buy magazines. We should buy some magazines. We need some things to look at. Of course, you guys still don't sit next to each other. This is called the worst, the worst family ever, brother and sister ever. Okay, let's see what magazine to buy. Mode Live, um, Rat Race, Highbrow Review. Highbrow Review is a perfect blend, a dose of culture, a dash of environmentalism, and just a pinch of hard-hitting political analysis. That sounds boring. Young Sim Magazine, we've I think we've had that before. Superstar Report, <gasps> ooh, Superstar Report. We need to get updates on our latest celebrities. Um, oh yeah, forgot he's a bistro. He's not the actual checkout guy. It's okay. We go over here to the grocery section. She must think we're on crack because we're like shaking like crazy now. She's like, oh my god, please leave. You're on drugs. You might shoot me. Okay. So they both got a cell phone. She got a magazine. Um, let's close. You can never go wrong with more clothes, right? Plus, we can buy her adult clothes since she's going to be uh, graduating fairly soon. So let's let's see if we can buy some adult clothes. I probably need to download some more since we've seen most of them already. But hey, there might be some things out there. Alright, so let's go into adults and uh, okay no there's not a good selection. I'll have to download some more clothes and then add it to her dresser later. But I think we're going to end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and if you want to continue watching the series, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It is completely free and you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you all so much for sticking through this video, watching the gameplay, supporting me throughout my other videos and my whole channel. Um, it definitely means a lot. Um, but hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. I love you all.